to get the free notes of electrical circuits check the link in the comment section and install the app for free source transformation question find current through 8 ohm resistance by using source transformation technique here in this circuit we have to find the current through this 8 ohm solution first of all we will convert this voltage source into its equivalent current source now when we convert this voltage source to current source that time this resistance in series will become in parallel so it will be look like this this 10 ohm will become in parallel like this the value of this resistance will remain same that is 10 ohm and this voltage source will become a current source and the direction of current source will be according to the polarity of this voltage source so here positive here and negative here so the direction of current source will be upward like this and current i is equal to v divided by r the value of voltage is 12 volt and the value of resistance is 10 ohm so it will be 1.2 ampere so this current value will be 1.2 ampere now similarly we will do this for this resistance and this voltage source so now here this resistance is connected in series so when we make this voltage source to current source that time it will be in parallel so this 6 ohm will become parallel like this 6 ohm and this voltage source will become a current source and the direction of that current source will be according to the polarity of this voltage source so here positive here and negative here so the direction of current source will be upward like this and again i is equal to v by r the value of voltage is 20 and the value of resistance is 6 so here we can directly write or let's write it like this i is equal to v by r v is 20 divided by r is 6 20 divided by 6 it is 3.3 volt here we can write not volt 3.3 ampere 3.3 ampere is the value of this current source now here we can see the direction of this current source is upward and the direction of this current source is also upward that means they have the same current direction so that's why they get added so let's add them again we will copy this from here or just simply cop copy this much part and here this will become 3.3 ampere and this is 1.2 ampere now we add them so it will be 3.3 plus 1.2 3.3 plus 1.2 so it is 4.5 ampere so let's erase this and make it a single current source of 4.5 ampere it will be of 4.5 ampere now here we can see this 6 ohm and this 10 ohm are connected in parallel we will keep this 8 ohm resistance as it is just we will simplify other elements so it will be 6 ohm parallel with 10 ohm so it will be 6 multiplied by 10 divided by 6 plus 10 6 multiplied by 10 divided by 6 plus 10 so it is 3.75 3.75 
ohm is the value of resistance. Again, let's copy this from here. This 3.75 ohm. Let's erase this. This 8 ohm will be here as it is, just we are writing here. And this resistance will become 3.75 ohm. Now we can easily find the current through this 8 ohm by using current division rule. Let's say this current is I 8 ohm. So by using, here we can write by using current division rule, current division rule. I 8 ohm is equal to this current that is 4.5 ampere multiplied by opposite branch resistance. The opposite branch to this is 3.75, 3.75 divided by 3.75 plus this 8. So it will be 4.5 multiplied by 3.75 divided by 3.75 plus 8. So it is 1.436. 1.436. Since it is current, so its unit will be ampere. So therefore, I 8 ohm is equal to 1.436 ampere. So this is how we can find the value of current by using current division rule and source transformation technique. Check the link in the comment section and install the app for free to get the notes of electrical circuits. And thanks for watching.